today. So I'm pretty excited. Today I'm going to be getting ready and I'm going to be using this uh, Cover Outlast Stay Luminous Natural Glow Foundation. Um, this is pretty brand new. This will be the first time that I'm using it. I'm using an 810. So we'll see how that goes. It looks nice and pale enough, so hopefully it is. But we're going to give it a try and we'll see how it goes. Actually, it might be a little too pale for me now that we're going into summer, but we will see. I'm filming this on Memorial Day and so it's going to be really basic other than the foundation. I'm just going to be doing like a basic eye look because I'm just trying to get a lot of stuff done around the house and I just want to kind of see how this foundation is going to look and how it's going to wear. I like to try out foundations when I'm just going to be around the house so then if they go terribly wrong it's not a big deal and I'm not like out somewhere and having my face look like crap. So that's like one coat. Uh, it doesn't cover as much as I would think or like it to. It is very dewy. Like very much a dewy foundation so it'll be interesting to see if it stays dewy throughout the day and it is I'll probably need to if I like it pick up like a shade darker this was the, the lightest one I always start with the lightest one because I'd rather it be lighter and then I can kind of just put on some bronzer and that's fine but then it'd be like darker orange so I don't know it might be a combination of the shade as well as but it's definitely more a medium coverage at best very dewy I actually might be a little bit more dewy than I like right now so I don't know we'll see how that turns out I was going to be doing what this like last week has been my go-to on eyes. It's been this CoverGirl uh, Sombra's, oh it's a Golden Sunset, it's 115. I got it on like the CVS clearance though so I'm not quite sure it might be getting discontinued but I'm just doing the middle gold and I'm just using my finger for these just because I'm not going for fancy, I'm just going to be around the house and maybe go to the store or run some errands at most, so, and plus I think it's supposed to be really hot today, or not really hot, but definitely I think humid, so I've been taking the middle one and putting it all over, and then taking this like coppery one and just going and just kind of rubbing it in the outside V and the same thing on the other side and then taking this gold color and I've just been like putting that just right in the center And then I'll just wipe that all off my finger, so. And then I've sometimes been doing mascara. Or not mascara. I'm always doing mascara because my eyelashes are horrible. But eyeliner, I'll give it a try because nothing dramatic though, just more very close to 
dash line. I did a winged liner yesterday with the Physician's Formula Eye Definer and Felt Tip Eye Marker, and it drove my eyes crazy. Well, we were at a picnic, and it sucked. But yeah, I'm not being precise with it, and I'm not really being anything. I'm just kind of smudging it into the lash line just to kind of give the illusion of a little more darkness in there. Oh my god, my allergies are like insane. And I'm going to be using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Ultra Black because that's just what I have right now. Ugh. I always do that. Never fail. And this is like, I do like how dark this mascara is, but I still am not, I guess, on the bandwagon yet as it being like this phenomenal thing. This is just my struggle. I feel like this foundation, although I didn't try it, but I feel like it's probably like very similar to the original L'Oreal Infallible, the like dewier one. I feel like it's probably like that. So, and then I'm gonna use, I got this in my Ipsy bag this month actually, is the Cella maybe I'm saying that right, tantalizing taupe eyebrow color pencil. Um, it's so skinny and small. You probably can't really even see it, but it is really, it's just super skinny, which is kind of nice. It's a little darker than I would normally kind of go for. But I do like how super skinny it is, and I've been using it pretty much since I got the box, so. I mean, I did purchase it, but I like all my eyebrow hairs are falling out. Yeah, I think I like how super skinny it is. I do like that. So I've been using it. I've been I've been hating it. I've been continuing to use it. It's been working really good. I feel like it's a really fast option. So I like that. And let's see. Just thinking what bronzer I want to use right now. Ugh. I don't want to use something. Super dark because I guess we'll go with the Milani Soleil bronzer. Where I'm like losing everything today. I've been doing massive like spring cleaning, which is awesome. Um, but I haven't gotten to, like, my makeup table yet to do that part of the spring cleaning, which I totally need to do because it's just a disaster. Disaster. I think that I'm probably going to... Another one. I'm going to do the Elf Mineral Blush and Baked Peach. 
and just throw a little bit of that in. Holy crap. Way more than I wanted to. Gotta love when that happens. So I'm gonna just gonna take my foundation brush and just kind of diffuse that craziness out. I've never used this one with like my kabuki brush before and it does just pick up and deposit a lot of it but hey okay. and then I've been doing going back in with the um like darker the carpery shade just kind of doing that under and about halfway across kind of bringing it up and then going into that light gold shade and then doing that on the inner like one third Because I've just been super into the smoky look, and why not? Ooh, oh, things are flying everywhere. And something's in my eye. Something is always in my eye. And then I'm just gonna hit my bottom lashes with the uh, Great Lash, lots of lashes. looking at the foundation right now because it's dried and it's not as dewy the dewiness has kind of like let down a little bit but there is uh, like sort of a glowish thing about it but it's not super matte which is nice and move stuff and now I might have to change that because now my blushes are like way far away or I have to figure out what I actually want to do before I'm doing it. Oh, that'd be silly. And so this is, I got this also in my Ipsy bag, I think a couple months ago. This is the Hikara and it's a Tango blush. So we'll give it a try. I haven't used it. It's kind of like Super pigmented and not the usual. I'm glad I used a super much of it, so it kind of diffuses it a little bit, but it is. Here goes this again. Uh, more. I don't know how I feel about that. It's just a little more in my face than I normally do. Um, I see that I have a big clean brush to kind of, I'm just using a big fluffy clean brush to kind of blend everything out. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So it's not as crazy. And then, just because I feel like I need it lately. I'm gonna take a very a little bit of the NYX taupe blush and I'm just gonna put a little extra contour in there just cuz feeling extra round. Who doesn't love a little more cheekbones? But 
on you. I seriously, you're pale. This is the best thing in the whole entire world. This blush. Awesome. Awesomeness. I don't know what I did without it. Oh. See? Everything everywhere. Have to just fix that somehow. Alright. And for my lips, let's see. I want to do something. I have so many new things in different colors that I just don't... Actually, you know what? I'm going to wear this because I just love it like crazy. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Vicious Varnish High Shine Lip Stain in Legendary Face. And, oh, why is it all super gross goopy? I don't I love this. I actually just forgot about it. I'm glad that I refound it. This is just like this is perfect like nude, just a shade better than your lips, but doesn't look plain. Like, that doesn't look like anything more. But I like it. So this is how everything is looking probably check in in like a couple of hours and let you know how the foundation is wearing and how it feels and a little bit more of an opinion on it so I will let you know then okay so it's about I put it on I put on the foundation and everything probably around 9 30 in the morning it's around 3 30 um so just checking in looks pretty good I don't like how it's making my forehead look like my forehead right here is looking pretty shiny kind of oily which really doesn't happen because I don't have oily skin um, so it's kind of weird that's going on I'm not really a fan of that and this is after I did some running and sweating and everything so this is kind of like how it's looking after that and my glass is on now but it it's holding up pretty well I would say that it's pretty comparable to the Revlon color stay um, pretty much the same kind of deal but definitely not as much coverage because um, even like down here on my chin you can see that some uh, some of like my little tiny breakouts are kind of coming through a little bit and they're really like so minimal but they're already kind of showing through a little bit which is a bit of a bummer and something that I really wouldn't want to happen with a higher coverage or a long wearing thing so um yeah I don't know maybe I'll check in before I wash my face at the end of the night and just let you know what it's looking like and how it's feeling then. I mean, it feels fine. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything, but I don't know. I don't think it's like spectacular or mind blowing right now. Um, I'm actually like kind of torn on if I like the luminous part of it I kind of almost maybe don't because it's just like a little bit too much or maybe it's a foundation that I would like to use on certain parts of my face but not maybe all I don't know um I don't know I'll check in a little bit later see how it's doing in. okay so last check-in now it's almost seven o'clock and yeah it looks about the same as the last check-in 
it's just more is kind of wearing away like I can start seeing some of my broken veins kind of popping through I still really hate how I don't know if it's I mean it's got to be a foundation because normally my forehead does not look like this and it just looks very horrible um but yeah I don't know but a lot of it is kind of like breaking down and wearing away which is kind of kind of disappointing for this whole outlast and I mean I was under the impression that I mean it's a natural last a natural glow foundation is all it says on it but I thought the whole outlast line was supposed to last longer so I expected it to be a long wearing foundation but I mean it definitely doesn't hold up as well as like the Rimmel lasting finish or I mean the Revlon color stay or really any of the other like long wearing foundations that have claims of long wearing foundation or like you know the L'Oreal infallible those all like last a lot longer and my flaws aren't peeking out as much and I mean it does have a very natural glow glowy about it that's the only thing I can say that has kind of stayed with it is it still is kind of glowy but it's not always a completely positive thing that it's glowy and it's breaking down in other places so I don't know I'll use it and maybe I'll try different combinations with it or try different primers or something like that um, but I don't know I'm a little disappointed I kind of expected more out of it and um, I don't know because the regular Outlast foundation I can't use because it's way too drying on my skin and so I kind of I guess I expected more or wanted it more out of this one but I mean, I don't completely hate it. I wouldn't say it's a complete fail, but I'm not super impressed or super in love with it. It's just probably going to be one of those foundations I use like when I'm around the house or something like that, but I don't know. I'll, if I find another combination that I like better with it, like using different products with it, then I will probably let you know and check in on that and throw that up there. But as of right now, eh, it's a little disappointing. Not a complete fail, but that that's kind of my opinion on it. So let me know if you kind of had any other reaction to it or if you like it. Awesome. I think it's with, worth a shot. So I got mine on like a really good sale with some like CVS extra bucks. So I'm not totally broken hearted about it. But yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.